this is my second video in a series about how to use visual perception research to create effective slides. Today, we're going to talk about the principle of simplicity, also known as good form or prognons. I'm starting with this one because I'm pretty sure it's my personal favorite. Simplicity guides everything I do, every slide design decision that I make. Here's what it is. Our brains look for the simplest, easiest way to organize information. In other words, our brains prefer the simple over the complex. It's kind of like the Occam's razor of design. Not sure what I mean yet? Here's an analogy for you. Story time! Not so long ago, someone told me about a driving app that supposedly told you the fastest way to get there using some type of fancy algorithm. It was supposed to be a great way to beat traffic. Cool! Who doesn't want to get to some place faster? So I decided to try it on my way to work, which was a really simple route. There wasn't a lot of turns, but there was horrible traffic. Who knows, I thought, maybe the algorithm gods would know a better way. So I'd be driving and all of a sudden, all these distractions kept bothering me. Video game noises because I'm picking up candy on the road or pop-ups because there's an accident or traffic or a squirrel up ahead. And then it would tell me to take a left on a side street. And then now I have to drive a mile and almost die every time I have to cut across a fast road because there's no lights because now I'm on a side street. And then, oh, just kidding, turn right. No, now turn left, now turn right. Ah! <laughs> it didn't need to be so complicated. <sighs> okay, okay. It was obnoxious. I had to make like 30 turns just to get to work maybe a couple minutes faster. Maybe. I preferred the simple route over the complex one because ultimately it was just easier. Well, according to the principle of simplicity, our brains also prefer the simple route and not the complex one. And therefore, that applies to our slide design. So let's talk about how to use the principle of simplicity in your slides. Ask yourself, what route do people have to take to get to the information on your slide? Is your slide design basically the driving app of slides? Do you use a bright, highly visible, high contrast template that your audience has to look at first and then decide they can ignore it because, oh, actually it's meaningless clutter? Then, when they look at your heading, it's placed in an odd spot, kind of low on the slide and centered, so that when they read it, now they have to backtrack to the left to look at your body text, and then jump to a random spot on the slide to try to look at your really tiny picture, which is also awkwardly placed. And then they're lost and don't know where to look because all the information was already on the slide, and you've been talking the whole time, but because humans read faster than people can talk, they're lost. So now they're just going to ignore you and read your presentation. If either of those sound like your presentation, then your slides are basically that driving app. With all that clutter, your slides are too complex and it's gonna stress people out because it's bogging down their working memory. And pretty soon they'll be too tired to care anymore and probably won't remember much. Good thing there's a better way. The Gestalt principle of simplicity tells us to keep it simple, slide maker. So how do you keep it simple? Basically, just get rid of all the clutter. Get rid of all the distractions. If it doesn't have a specific meaning or it's not going to help your audience understand your information, delete it! Yes, I'm talking about your template. Delete it! All templates suck. And if you use one, even if you've created your own, then check out my free email course, Countdown to Stellar Slides, link below. After you delete everything, the law of simplicity also tells us to keep things organized so that there's a logical flow to the information. Move that heading up so it isn't in a faraway place. Put it where they're going to look first, then left align it and arrange the rest of the information in a place that makes sense, which is right underneath the header. 
Now it's time to get rid of the clutter, like that template. Those bullets don't mean anything either, so they can go. And that's too much text, so let's cut that down. Now people can find the information using the fastest and easiest route possible. Again, it's really simple. All you have to do is get rid of all the clutter from your slides. Don't go away. Stop, stop, stop. Ah! Stay away from my slide. So, yeah, that's your first step to creating stellar slides. If you want to know what to do next, you'll have to stay tuned for the next few videos. You can also get a head start by taking my free email course, Countdown to Stellar Slides. Link is in the description below. Everything you learn how to do in that course works with all these principles and sets you up for success so that you can use the visual perception principles in your future presentations. Think about it, you could already be making better slides by the time my next video comes out, if you get going now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and connect with me on social media. And if you loved this video and want to help me make more, then consider donating a cup of coffee to my page. Your donations help me make videos about how to create effective and engaging presentations. Or hey, consider me for a training, mentoring, or even some custom design work. Everything I do is tailored to the unique needs of academics, scientists, evaluators, or researchers. See you next time.